Good morning, everybody. How you all doing today? Something happened today, well, yesterday, that is very interesting. Our Congress at work for us. <laughs> you know me, I'm saying that it must be pretty cynical. Well, actuality, minimum wage went up. Right, minimum wage increased. Our Congress at work for the American people. Our Congress at work for the hard working. Minimum wage went up. First thing, you waiters and waitresses out there, you people who are in the food service, who work off of tips, you get paid a salary too, don't you? Did it go up any? No. How about you people who make over minimum wage? Which is the majority of you out there struggling who are trying to make a living. I mean the vast majority. Very few people really work for minimum wage. Did you see a pay increase? Oh no. Congress is patting itself on the back though. Today it did something for the working class, the working poor. Unfortunately, most of the working poor aren't making minimum wage. They're making above minimum wage. Even with that increase, they're above that. Very, very few people, except for students and people who have second jobs, third jobs, can even afford to accept a job at minimum wage. And McDonald's knows that, for example. Most of their people that they hire aren't at minimum wage. You can't start anyone at minimum wage. They won't work. <laughs> so minimum wage goes up. Who does it actually help? All you out there who are working, trying to feed your family, all you out there who are couples living together, trying to make a living, all you who are out there on your own trying to make a living. Minimum wage has done very little for you, hasn't it? The increase. Most of you won't even see it. But those who do see it, you'll be making about $28 more a week. But guess what? You're not going to see 28 You might see 15 if you're lucky. Why? Because minimum wage doesn't help our society. Increase in minimum wage over and over doesn't help our society. It makes things more expensive. It gives the retail business an excuse to raise the price. Oh, because we got to pay higher salaries now. We have to. But don't worry. After people stop buying for a while, the prices will come back down somewhat. Walmart is the biggest price regulator we have in this country right now. I think if we didn't have Walmart, people wouldn't be able to live. <clears throat> and that's the truth, because Walmart causes a lot of department stores to lower their prices. I'm not a big fan of Walmart, don't, that ain't what I'm pushing, but the truth is the truth. So who does minimum wage really help? Well, it brings some people at the small end, sorry, end, into a higher tax bracket. Congress and Senate gets more money. Oh, yeah, they're going to get more money. And nobody takes that from them. Oh, no, they're going to get that on your price increase. They're going to get that before you get it. So when you all take your paychecks home this week and next week, some gets paid two-week cycles, take a look at it. See if you see an increase. Oh, you won't. Okay, well, I understand you're not making minimum wage. Then I guess Congress really patting themselves on the back on an empty jester, is, isn't it? Jester. Because what they have actually done for you is nothing. But they think they did. But the truth is, they did. They did absolutely nothing. For the student who in high school who might be working minimum wage, you're going to see an increase. 
and there may be a few college students who aren't waiters and waitresses and things like that who are on a salary that are on minimum wage they may see an increase but for the majority of you no you can't live on minimum wage even if even with the increase so your salary is above that already it doesn't help you any does it the majority of the people out here who are actually looking at me on YouTube sees nothing so how did Congress help you they did all they did is give themselves another tax increase so how could they have helped you well instead of raising minimum wage why don't they make minimum wage non taxable totally Anybody who's making minimum wage pays no taxes whatsoever. Anyone who makes minimum wage, Social Security will be one dollar. That's it. And that's the only thing that would be taken out of their paycheck. The rest of us, our minimum wage will be non-taxable. Totally. You make fifteen dollars an hour, they subtract the minimum wage from it, and you pay taxes on the remainder, which will be about nine something, maybe uh, eight something. You don't pay taxes on the whole 15. The minimum wage of everybody's salary should be non taxable. And that's what minimum wage should be set for. Minimum wage, this is the minimum wage federal government, state government, local government cannot tax it for anything. What would it do to a lot of you people out there who are making just over minimum wage? Your paycheck would almost double, wouldn't it? For you other people like me who are making more, a little bit more, I'm making, I'll tell you, $15 an hour. My paycheck would increase. And for you real rich people who don't care one way or the other, you'll get a minute increase that you wouldn't notice anyway. So what does Congress have actually done? Only increase their tax rates. They've done nothing for you. They're not going to even think about making minimum wage non-taxable because then they'd have to give up some money. They would have to give it back to the American people. They would have to do something for us. That they can't do. But it's election year, isn't it? Maybe they might consider it. And if they could filibuster it in the Congress long enough till after the elections, they might just get away with not doing anything on it. But plain and simple, minimum wage, whatever it's set at, should totally be non-taxable, period. And that's what the minimum wage set should be. Federal government say whatever minimum wage is can not be taxed in anybody's salary and of course at the end of the year your taxable income will be less that of minimum wage your taxable income will be less than your gross income because they subtract the minimum wage from your gross income think about that what Congress really did for you today did they do anything no but they're patting themselves on the back saying oh we're good guys Again, a dog and pony show. Have a nice day. This is JD.